The recycling program prior to Zero Sort was viewed as a recycling program that the college offered and didn't have really much enthusiasm or push behind it other than that the college had a recycling program. Dartmouth Athletics is one of the largest athletic departments in the country. We have 34 varsity teams and over a thousand student athletes. Um, we didn't have a really good recycling program uh, prior to 2010. We had a few bins in the corner of the arena, uh, but our fans didn't really use them much. It had been a really big issue as far as getting members of Greek organizations to recycle their waste, which is almost entirely recyclable. So you got obviously your aluminum beer cans, your cardboard boxes, your plastic cups. Probably 95% of our waste stream should be diverted to, the, to recycling. But it was really difficult to get people to do that because you'd have to have bins in the basement, a lot of education, signage, and it really wasn't practical. Before they started composting, I assume all their food waste, paper waste, and stuff like that all went to the landfill. The diversion rates were low along with the recycling amounts were much lower than we thought they should be. The Zero Sort Recycling Program began at Dartmouth about three years ago, and it's been sort of a great kickoff to a kind of highly visible sustainability initiative at the college. Since 2010, when we started Zero Sort, our diversion rates and recycling rates have increased 50%. When Casella brought in its Zero Sort Recycling Program, that really changed the game as far as how we were able to deal with the waste stream that was coming out of the basement. Zero Sort's important because it collects more material. The other great thing about Zero Sort is it makes it easier for the people to recycle more material. Our Zero Sort program has increased tremendously. We, in the beginning, started with struggling to get 20 tons a week to where we are shipping over 500 tons a month. It's been a great working relationship. Um, they collect the Zero Sword in receptacles there. It's delivered to the facility here in Rutland, and we take it from here. We take that Zero Sword, separate it all out, get it ready for the market. We put it into bale form and load it on to market trucks, we take it to the mills to be reprocessed back into recycling. So it's been a win-win for both parties. At athletic events, we find that fans who are the most ardent recyclers at home often won't recycle at an event because it's just not convenient and um, we wanted to make it more convenient for them. So we partnered with Casella. We've uh, offered new bins that are incredibly clear and easy to use. They're very straightforward, and a fan knows when they come up to dispose of their trash, whether it's recyclable or not, they'll know where it goes. One of the most exciting elements of the partnership we have with Casella is the introduction of our new popcorn boxes. Previously, we had a popcorn box that wasn't recyclable, and our fans just threw it in the trash. Um, with the help of Casella's wonderful designers, we came up with a new design that encouraged our fans to uh, recycle the popcorn box, and also the popcorn box itself was recyclable. We, um, we've had incredible results with the popcorn box. Our recycling rates have gone up significantly, and we've gone, we've gone through probably tens of thousands of these boxes since we've implemented the program in 2010. Um, in addition, we've also won a national award for a sponsorship for the design of the boxes, and we're incredibly proud of that. Students are definitely excited about the program. Um, it's helped them sort of think about waste and where it goes. It's helped them to think about other creative ways we could reduce our waste streams on campus. I'm part of ECO, which stands for the Environmental Conservation Organization. And basically, it's um, an organization on campus that focuses on like college sustainability. So each term, we implement a couple of different projects that we focus on. We created signs to be put in college, and for each sign, it was put above the designated bin. So like for compost, recycling, waste, we had a different sign and for each sign we actually glued like different objects so people could like tell what to put into which bin. Dartmouth is making really great strides as far as positioning itself to be a leader in the sustainability movement. We're definitely making big strides and I'm really excited to see where we take it moving forward. An opportunity for the college now is to focus on compost operations to increase our composting for food waste, which allows us to manufacture topsoil for the campus. Well, here at Dartmouth, we try to recycle all the food waste and, and you know, paper products, napkins, whatever comes out of the dining halls. We mix it up, bring it in. As you can see, it ends up in here. It warms up, steams up, cooks really good. Then we turn around, we screen it out, and we mix it in with the topsoil, and it goes onto the field, so it makes one big circle. 
I respect the environment. I love the outdoors. So this is kind of a challenge to take uh, raw material that nobody wants to use anymore, turn it into a usable product. It's pretty cool. What really drew me to Dartmouth was not just the fact that it's like a very small, closely knit community and that's like in a very beautiful location, but being like um, an environmental advocate and passionate about environmental issues, I really love Dartmouth because of the sustainability program. Every day I love my job, I love what I do. I know we have a positive impact on our local environment and our countryside as a whole. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing and I'm glad to be a part of it. The Zero Star program has definitely helped us reduce the amount of waste that's going to the landfill on campus. So it's increased our recycling rate, it's made recycling super easy for students, faculty, and staff. It's increased the amount of items we can recycle on campus, so including all plastics, all glass, all aluminum, all different kinds of paper. Um, and we're able to better capture that waste stream from our user group because of how simple it is. Dartmouth's able to really realize the success that it's seen with its diversion programs through collaboration. And, and that's unique, you know, a lot of universities and businesses and stuff run their, run their recycling activities out of a department. A department that has little connection to the other communities within the university. I think Dartmouth has been really successful at bringing in multiple stakeholders, from the athletics department, to the leadership that the facilities operations and management division has shown, to strategic partnerships like Casella and others, to the academic community, all the way up to the president's office. There's a real commitment to environmental leadership across the campus that's, that's allowed it to achieve and realize the kind of success that it's seen through its recycling and diversion programs. One of the big knocks on recycling is it's almost presented in a nerdy or wonky way and you have to read the numbers and understand exactly what to put where. And it can often be confusing, a little overwhelming, and you just say, all right, I'm just gonna throw it in the trash. But with Zero Sort, it makes it really easy. It's basically idiot proof and you just throw everything in one container and then let Casella deal with it. I feel awesome because I'm, I'm just so happy to be part of a group that like is really passionate about like these type of issues. The recycling program is everywhere on campus and students interact with it really frequently. It creates a nice moment of pause where students kind of think about what they're using, where it's coming from, and then where it's going. And having that sort of educational moment every time we interact with our waste is really important to what we're doing here at Sustainability at the College.